Hi, my name is Mary Vukasevich, and this lecture is about retinal vascular disease and the signs of occlusion and leakage that you will see on the retina. This diagram here shows a breakdown of the signs that develop in the presence of occlusion versus leakage in the retina. And understanding this is very important because there are many diseases that affect the retinal vessels. Some can block the vessels whilst others can cause them to leak. So committing this diagram to memory and knowing what the signs of occlusion or leakage are is really important. So if we have a look along the left there, if you have occlusion of capillaries, the retina will develop ischemia and this in turn will cause cotton wool spots, irregular retinal veins and new vessels. I'll go through these things in the next few slides. If there is leakage of the capillaries shown on the right hand side, uh, the signs include lipid exudates, edema and hemorrhage. Okay, so let's start by looking at the signs of leakage, which as I said before, are lipid exudates, edema and hemorrhage. So the image on the far left here shows lipid exudates. These are formed by lipids, as they're called, lipo lipoproteins and lipid containing macrophages. So they're basically made up of fatty deposits. And as a result of being made up of fatty deposits, they're yellow in color. So fats are yellow. Think of butter, for example, which is a fat. So the um, exudates are yellow in color and they have well-defined margins. They'll be usually found around the macula as in this diagram here or this image here, they're just sitting there or around the mid peripheral retina. So this particular eye has got them in both locations. The next image shows oedema. So oedema of the retina is caused by fluid leaking from damaged vessels. And the oedema shown here is around the macula. It is a little bit hard to see, but what you can note is that the optic disc looks actually quite clear in the photo because the camera has focused on the disc. However, the macula would also usually look clear, but because there's oedema there, it's caused it to swell and push forward and therefore become unfocused. So just remember that oedema always looks blurry when you look inside the eye. If there's blur, it's some kind of swelling. And then finally, hemorrhage is shown here in the final image on the right. And this occurs when a blood vessel has burst or leaks out and the hemorrhage is spread uh, all across the superior part of the retina here. You can see it's just blood. Blood is, that that's, shows the hemorrhaging there. Let's now take a look at the signs of occlusion. So occlusion leads to ischemia, which is reduced oxygen because oxygenated blood is not getting through to the retinal layers. And the signs that you'll see include cotton wool spots, irregular veins, and new vessels, which is also called neovascularization. Let's have a look firstly at cotton wool spots shown on the left here. Now, if you pick up an old ophthalmology textbook, these used to be called soft exudates, and um, but they're not really they're not they're not anything like lipid exudates. They're fluffy and white lesions with indistinct mar margins, kind of a sort of cloudy, billowy like, and they occur at the uh, margin of an ischemic retinal infarct, and. Uh, cotton wool spots are caused by obstruction of axoplasmic flow and buildup of debris from the axons in the nerve fiber layer of the retina. This is why you'll mostly see them quite close around the optic disc where the nerve fiber layer is the thickest and they're actually less obvious in the periphery where the nerve fiber layer is thinner. They're white in color because 
the particles that gather there from the axons, the axon debris, uh, they scatter light, these particles, and they reflect back as a white image. The nerve, normal nerve fiber layer is actually transparent. Uh, the next sign of occlusion is venous changes or irregular veins. And this is um, a generalized dilation or fattening of the vessels, tortuosity or a looping like you can see here. This blood vessel is irregularly looped or you can get beading and sausage-like segmentation of the vessels. So if you think of a string of sausages, it pretty much looks like that. Um, and then finally, we've got neovascularization as the final um, sign of leakage. So neovascularization is the term we use for new blood vessels, and it's caused by vascular endothelial growth factors being released into an area that's deprived of oxygen in the retina. And what happens is it, this uh, lack of oxygen supply causes the growth of abnormal vessels and fibrous tissue on the retinal surface. And what happens is these new vessels that are growing, they're actually not a good quality vessel. They're, they're very fragile vessels and more permeable than normal vessels. And because they're located in an abnormal position and they're not really supposed to be there, they're very fragile and they break and then they bleed. And so you get this appearance of neovascularization. So that concludes this presentation on the signs of vascular disease and the signs of occlusion and leakage of blood vessels and capillaries.